boy Hype, aka Black Freckle. <laughs> Like. And I don't read the story, so I don't know the story and shit, but it's like, at this day and age, how do I know you're not getting in an Uber or a Lyft or, mm. like, what the fuck? This, like, I care about this so little, no bullshit, because the answer is so obvious. So, and that's not, so oh, so. So I'm not finna argue with nobody on the argue. internet about this shit. I'm not finna even respond. Someone said who I will leave out of this. They fuck said whoever said this. I can always <laughs> say it. Sorry, while I agree with accountability on the part of the customer, bartenders that are trained well knows... Oh, no, I'm pretty sure... Well, <laughs> I was going to wild, but I'm not. Uh, bartenders that are trained well know when it's time to cut someone off. I have been in hospitality my whole life. Bartenders who continue to serve someone beyond the level of intoxication should also be accountable. That has nothing to do. Only a stupid person would say something like that, bro. This is people who hang their hat on not taking accountability for exactly. anything. Exactly. So they try to shit throw you off the scent when they're like, even though I am for accountability. No, you're, you're not. not. No, you're not. Like, okay, like, if I have a house party, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, if I get so hold drunk on, hold on. and beat this, uh, somebody's ass, can I blame <laughs> Hennessy for that? Can listen, I? <laughs> listen, listen. If I have a house party, right? Yeah. Joe buy the drinks. Yes. You the bartender. Yes. I own the house. Yes. Billy come get fucked up. Yes. Billy leave and go kill somebody. Right? Who this gonna Who fall off? Who gave him a clue? Who did it? Yeah, it's like <laughs> was well, it the I bartender with the shot? I poured the drinks right. Yeah, I, I say I poured the drink, but was Joe it bought Joe the drink. Who got the receipt? I ain't tell that nigga about all that group that was it. Black Freckles about, with the address. Like, he the nigga through the party. It's like what are we who talking did about it? here? You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, you know who did it? The nigga that killed all the <laughs> human beings. He did it all. He drank the drinks. He came to the party. He left, he left the, party. the party and he, he harmed did, someone. He did it all. These things he, have nothing to do with us. Yeah, he's in jail. <laughs> That's what I'm. I'm not no, just talking about. Oh, uh, they're looking into the. Like the, for the, real. the no, 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 no. He has been arrested. Yeah. And he's in jail. And like jail. I say, bro, this is one of those things that is just too stupid for me to care about. That's, this. The only reason I brought it I up is because, as stupid as you think it is, mm -hmm. and has no brain as you think it is, mm -hmm. I just read you someone who clearly thinks yeah, the opposite. Yeah, that's correct. And that's one of those things. Like if they arrested this dude and he was black, I would be like, they arrested him because he's black. black. Yes. Like, I truly Ooh. would feel that way. Because that, that would be the only thing I can <laughs> exactly. give him. <laughs> because you're doing this for no reason to me. If y'all want to do stuff like that, it needs to be an undeniable measurer. Maybe a nigga need to have, like... Or like maybe a, you got to check your blood alcohol level before you order another drink. No, because you have to... Find something to tell me this is the point that I know I should cut a person off. Listen, just uh, how you... If you say, hey, so-and-so uh, husband whooped her ass... I'm going to say, well, what did she do? <laughs> I'm not right? going to say, when well, you she tell, on Hennessy. Will you tell me <laughs> that bartender got arrested because somebody got drunk and killed somebody? I, my my question to that is, like, but what did he do, though? Mm -hmm. Like, is there a, was, was there some shit where a motherfucker was laying down on the motherfucking bar drunk as a motherfucking good boy? And that nigga <laughs> Come on, drive the boat. Drive the boat. That nigga, like, that nigga like, hold my key. When he walked in, that nigga walk into the bar like, I'm going to get fucked up, bartender. Hold my key. He wait till an hour until he fucked up. He be like, he slide on the keys, but like, you should be good. <laughs> Hey, ride out, leave, really, bro. Out. <laughs> remember, remember, <laughs> ten and two, ten and two. <laughs> hey, nigga, you got no drinking limit, you got no speed limit. Go on, <laughs> go on and get your ass out there. Sixty five thousand so, ounces of fire proof. It makes me. <laughs> it makes me say, "All right, cool. He had to do something." So that's why I don't care that much mm. because I'm just gonna give the benefit of the doubt. Let's say he had a pack of drugs in his pocket. <laughs> and they just rather to the headline of exactly. that as opposed to you exactly. know another bartender. They arrested him for selling him some coke too. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> they like, him. I, I'm not gonna read this because I don't care. <laughs> but because by I don't care, and I'm gonna leave the situation saying, even though I know how fucked up the judicial system is, and I know how fucked up America is, I'm just going to assume that they arrested him because he actually did. <laughs> <something>. <laughs> 
I hope, I hope the headline is clickbait and the real story is buried in there somewhere. I actually now hope this bartender is a devious criminal. Exactly. I hope they got that motherfucker off the street for our safety. Exactly. The bartender exactly. bandit. That nigga yeah. is going around. The BTB killer. <laughs> 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 He is going around. So I just gotta taking assume, keys you know, and taking names. Yeah, I just assume taking keys. Taking keys. Taking keys. Taking keys. Hey man, get in your car. And and they go wait. Like, no. And his mo is, I wait till they're so drunk <laughs> that they can't function, and I give them directions. And those that don't have a car, I just tell, hey, drive by. <laughs> I get the biggest feeling too. That bandit is a dastardly. Actually, this is a hero's thing those motherfuckers did, actually. They have helped us get a monster off the fucking street, you fucking bartender and bandit. That nigga look like blank man, I envision. He got pantyhose. <laughs> You want another I'm drink? I'm sorry, bro, but he had to have do something, bro. I'm sorry. I hope he did something. Yeah, I hope he did. For his sake, I hope he's a deviant For the sake killer. of America. Yeah. It, who but, said it? I don't remember who said it, but I know I heard it. I don't remember who said it, but I know I heard it. They said... A uh, psychic. What's it? A psychic. I think it, his voice is in my head. Uh, I'm going to just say... Uh, I'm gonna say what they it's said. coming to me. Oh, it's my, uh, my, uh, Martin Luther King said, uh, "Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice anywhere." So if you don't stand up for injustice, right, you next. Exactly, he did. Probably Martin Luther like King. He also said, "Stop putting AirPods in him on your flyers. <laughs> he is not at any of these functions. So don't say again." If freedom ain't ringing, <laughs> then the chopper gonna be singing. <laughs> Did you really see that on the I swear to you, man. <laughs> you say it all the time. Because this is unfathomable to that me. Didn't happen, right so, I, see, but this is why. <laughs> yo.